What is up guys, you're your, your boy Kagi, back at it again with a new video. Today I will teach you the fundamentals of breeding. What is behind breeding? You gotta understand the axes before you breed, okay? So I'm gonna teach you that. Nobody taught me this when I got in. There was no videos on it, or if there was, I couldn't find them. But the community on Discord um, helped me a lot. So. I will leave the Axie Infinity Discord down below. So any questions after this video, you go to that Discord, you join. The community is amazing. They will teach you everything you need to know as long as you ask the right questions. So I'm going to guide you into having the right questions about breeding. So here we go. So I'll be reading off my notes right here. Before you start breeding, you have to understand the following. Each Axie is composed of a body and six parts a body and six body parts what are the six body parts you got the eyes you got the ears you got the back you got the mouth you got the horns and you got the tail plus you got the body now every part of an axi including the body has stats those stats affect the overall stats of the axi so if you see the stats right here, health, speed, skill, morale, they all come from the body parts and the actual body. Now to determine what those stats will be, you have to understand the classes. Each class provides stats for each part. Now with that being said, you can choose from nine classes for the body, nine classes. The nine classes are the following, beast, bug, mech, reptile, plant, dusk, aqua, bird, and dawn. Nine classes for the body. For the body parts, for the eyes, ears, back, mouth, horns, and tail, you can choose from six classes. Beast, bug, reptile, plant, aqua, and bird. Now let me show you the actual points that each class can give to your axi. I have right here the stats provided by the community. Very important to know. So join Discord if you want the stats or you can just take a screenshot but it's better if you join Discord and you actually engage with the community and ask questions. Now let me show you the actual points that each class can give to your axi. This is very very important. Okay so body based stats by class. Like I said there's nine classes for the body you got the beast, you got the bug, you got the mech, you got the reptile, you got the plant, you got the dust, you got the aqua, you got the bird, and you got the dawn. Each of those classes has a base point for health, speed, skill, and morale. So that is the first part you got to choose in your mind before you select an axi. What do you want, right? What do you want to start as a base? As an example, you got the beast right here. It has 31 health, 35 speed, 31 skill, 43 morale. And the total base point is 140 for all of them. Um, that's just the base point, okay? Remember, you got six parts. You got the eyes, you got the ears, you got the back, you got the mouth, you got the horns, and you got the tail. So for each one, you got to choose a class to make up your axis, right? Let's take, for example, you want the eyes to be a beast eyes. That would give you one speed and three morale. Let's say, for example, you want your ears to be reptile. That would give you three health and one speed. So you add all those points up and you get the overall stat for your axi. Okay, so now let's do a little exercise. Let's make a theoretical axi. We want an axi that is high on health. Okay, high on health. So the first thing you would do is, I already know this because I already studied the shards. So I have an idea. I have an idea of what would be good for health, what would be good for attacking, what would be good for speed. And what would be good for skill? You gotta come up with your own ideas, but I'll give you an example, okay? So body class. Okay, first thing I'm gonna choose is a plant. I know plants are high on HP as a base level. I want the eyes to be plant as well. I want the ears to be plant as well. I want the mouth to be plant as well. I want the horn to be plant as well. I want the back to be plant as well. And I want the tail to be reptile. I think reptile also provides um, health, but it gives you, instead of giving you morale right here, right, more more, uh, more morale, I think it gives you something else. Let's see what it gives you. It gives you one speed. So there you go. You go down here, you go total by stat. You got 61, 
for health, 32 for speed, 31 for skill, and 40 for morale. If you want to use this calculator, please join Discord. I will now leave it in the link below just because this calculator is not mine. This calculator was made by somebody else. They provided it to me and it's my duty. It's my duty to bring the community together so that if you want to use all these tools, there's so many tools. There's so many tools. So if you want to use this tool, um, you go on Discord and you ask for it, okay? I'm not going to give you everything at once. I don't want you guys to work for it. I just want um, the people that actually created this to, to have their, their, their credit. So you can do so many theories, so many Axie theories, right? Let's say I, I could put here Beast, you see? It gives me one speed and it gives me three morale. So it depends on the Axie that you want. And these are just theories, right? So you come up with your own theory of the Axie you would like and based on that that's how you choose that's that's exactly how you choose the parents of the children you're trying to create now last thing i want to show you which is really really important and this is why we're here if you want to fight with your axie you gotta know the cards that you can you know actually get depending on the body part so you gotta understand that the eyes and the ears do not provide any cards at all all they do is provide stats. The back, the mouth, the horns, and the tails give you points, stat points. They add to your stat points. And they also, also give you cards. Now there is a card explorer. You can see all the cards based on the classes and the parts. This is the calculator and you can see all the cards. You can see all the cards in the game based on class and parts so i'm gonna give you an example i'm gonna go right here aquatic aqua boom i want an aquatic class i want the tail and i want high damage high attack and then you see what you aim for right all this information is important before you start breeding put all this together and then you have an idea of what you're gonna breed what is the direction that you're taking okay now for the last tool that i'm going to show you that's a little bit more ahead that would be on, on a second phase where you're actually going to breed already you already know what you want this is really really cool you put your axis ids the two that you want to you know breed i go calculate and boom it gives you all the percentage of what part you're gonna get and what class this is how you know what you're aiming for. This is how you breed. This is the base of how you breed. Once you understand all this, then you can go and try breeding. Or you can just start breeding and get to know the game and spend a bunch of money. If you did enjoy this video, if you did find value in this video, please hit that like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, and don't forget to join the Axie Discord channel. I'll see you guys next video or in the arena whooping your ass. Okay.